the core message across all the case studies is that it has to be contextualised within the specific needs of the organisation. Somebody once described it recently in a, in a study by Aberystwyth and Birmingham universities that there needs to be the organisation needs to be mindfulness ready, mindfulness ready. And if I relate that to the particular case that is in the book, we can start to see some common principles about implementing mindfulness. First of all, why? You know, what are the what are the drivers behind implementing, which we know is an emerging approach to well-being and performance at work when we look at the evidence. So think about is the organization mindfulness ready? And what does that actually mean? Well, first of all, it means that the champion, the, mind, the mindfulness champion, has to have a real embodied sense of what mindfulness is from an internal experience. So for organisational development, we call this in the book OD from the inside out. So we need to have embodied it, developed our mindfulness readiness ourselves. Okay? And that's common. And so each of them begins the chapter with their coming to mindfulness. So very much making explicit their journeys. We need to consider who and how are we going to work with the stakeholders? Who are they? What are their responses to this thing called mindfulness, whatever that might be, and for what purpose? So it needs to be anchored to the language, the culture of the organisation what works and we find that throughout the case studies they talk about language not using it necessarily in the kind of often derogatory term of hippie hippie mindfulness you know it's, a, it's about what is it going to work in this organization for what purpose any benchmarks are we going to use any particular mindfulness measures so in the book we cover what they are how they were used and the choices that you can make 